of the Extreme Fillet Fishing Channel. Today's video definitely deserves one of the loudest intros in the history of this channel, for today marks the beginning of a new chapter in my life. Now, folks who follow me on Instagram at Extreme Fillet Fishing already know about this. Folks who are on Patreon and a part of the YouTube monthly membership, they already know about the good news. And now it is time to reveal it to the open public. Earlier this week, folks, June 21st, 2021, I finally pledged, I finally did my oath of allegiance. And right now, I am officially, on paper, a proud citizen of this country. That's right, folks. If you have been watching this channel for a while, you know that I have waited a long time for this to happen. And finally, my process with USCIS is over. That being said, it is time to celebrate. And what a better way to celebrate than with fishing. So we have just one objective for today. I'm here at the Delaware Canal in Bucks County, Pennsylvania. And you know what? We're just going to wacky rig some Senkos for whatever bites. The main objective of the day is to catch my first ever fish as a citizen of this country. I don't know how ready you guys are, but I am very eager to wet my line. So let's get this fishing session started. Oh yeah, it has been a little while since I've been here, but this place never really changes. Look at all the vegetation hanging from the canal, all the trees, right? Water is still quite shallow and no jokes, right? Folks usually call these the lily pads, but they are actually called spatter docks. And the canal, as you guys can see all the way back there, is filled with them, right? And let me tell you, this is the perfect environment for wacky rigged senkos. It is one of my favorite types of fishing to do during the summertime when vegetation cover and those stagnant locations are all prime and juicy. And that's what we're going to be doing today. I got my pink Senko tied up over here. I'm going to leave all the gear in the description of the video as always. We're going to walk this canal up and down in hopes of catching some very juicy and fat species of fish. Now, mind you, I am using a little metal leader, as you guys can see, right? Meaning that in this video, there is a real possibility that some toothy creators are going to show up. Yeah, I'm going a little bit heavy on the line today, but I heard rumors of a big fish spotted here around the spot. So I really don't want to go light. Some folks have been telling me that they've been spotting a 40 inches fish in this canal. So I brought the 30 pounds test line plus the metal leader just in case we find that fish today. But let's not think too much about it and uh, <laughs> just go for whatever bites for now. Whoa, hole over here. Come on, fishy fishy. Come on, man. Oh, 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 gotta hit, gotta hit fish out, boy. Fish out. First fish of the day. First fish of the day. Yay, and we got ourselves a pickerel. Oh, actually, this one doesn't count. I don't even know how I hooked this fish like this. Well, it definitely went at it, but I hooked on its gill, bro. This is just fascinating, isn't it? I cast my Senko all the way down there and as you guys can see i made some modifications over here right i'm using the black leader instead of the gray because this one is actually lighter so when you cast a sink out there it wobbles more i saw the fish go after it you know set the hook and i thought i had it came hooked on the gill so you know what i'm not even gonna take a photo of this one it is a tiny one anyways but there you go huh on the gill how does that even happen? Don't ask me, but little chain pickerel, Ezox Niger, 
very slimy. They actually call this is not rockets in New Jersey. <laughs> Little nickname that it gave to the fish. That's all right. Our first uh, citizen fish is going to come sooner or later. Oh yeah, ladies and gentlemen, you guys see what I see? We are approaching what I call the spatter dock zone. All the way over there, you have so many spatter docks. And these predatory species, man, they love areas like this. We should be able to catch at least one from around this area. Tricky part, always finding the fish. All the way back there between those two. Yeah, that's good. That's good right there. Come on, man. Telling me there's not a fish around there? That was prime. Oh, yeah, had a bite, had a bite, had a bite. Oh, it was a pickerel boy. It was a pickerel boy. Had a bite right there, dude. It was a pickerel. I saw it too. Took it in its mouth. Should have given, uh, should have given another three seconds, man. Cause I'm using the leader anyways. Look at that. Look at this. This is the teeth of the pickerel. Right here, look at that. Mango the Senko, bro. Hopefully that pickerel is still around though. Well, I tell you all what, I don't know where that particular fish went to, but the good news is there was at least one around here. There's a real possibility that there's going to be another one or two. So let's just keep walking a little bit more and see what happens. This area definitely looks juicy. I knew it. Got a hit. Fish on. Knew it, boy. As soon as I saw this area, I knew it was going to be juicy. Is it a pickerel or a bass? Finally, this one's got a little weight to it. Yeah. All right, it's a pickerel. <laughs> it's not that bad either. Look at that. Yeah, that is pretty fat. That's pretty fat. Good, good, good. Now this is more like it. Yeah, first citizenship fish. I'm gonna put it in the live well right here, chain pickerel. I'm gonna take a few photos, we're going to release it. So excited about this one being my first fish. After that, Oath of Allegiance. Not even going to sugarcoat it. I mean, it's just a very nice quality fish and we're going to measure it right now. We're gonna get a length on this guy first. I've been giving it some water, but check that out now. Chain pickerel, right? Up on the Euro tackle ruler, he goes. We got 22, 22 inches right here. All right, let's use the leaper real fast. Get a weight on this dude. So what do you guys think, huh? The lipper is 0.11. Dude, let's make this quick. We got here, oh, oh, easy, feisty, bro. 2.73 minus 0.11, 2.62. 2.62, man. Two and a half pounder chain pickerel right over here. Now that, let me tell you, that is what is up, man. Oh, oh, oh easy, easy. All right, man, back in the water. Oh my goodness, dude, this fish is so feisty, bro. So I'm going to revive this little fish a little bit. Hold it by the tail. Dude, don't even need to hold it by the tail. Look at that. Gosh darn it, bro. Fish is still a little bit confused, doesn't know what happened. Fish is like, man, I just got me stripped by the Asian, huh? <laughs> very special, very special fish. Swam away, man. That is what's up, bro. That is the benefit, really, of having a live well and a little ruler and give it some water, take good care of it, right? Whew. All right, first fish of the day, not bad, but we are far away from done, man. We're gonna go catch some more. Twenty-two incher to start the day. That is not bad at all. But I tell you what, subscribers did tell me, like I said, that they spotted a 40 incher type of Azox around these areas. I mean, I don't know if they confused a carp 
for an Azox or what is going on. We caught a 20 something incher, man. We're still hunting for the 40, you know? My man, this Senko is all mangled. Can we still use it? People often complain about the price of the Senkos out there. $8 a pack, you know? But look at this, dude. The Senko has been mangled today, folks. It's still on the old ring. It's still wacky rigged. Hey, you know what? We can still use it. Oh, yeah, we can still get some juice out of this baby. Little opening right here on the left side. Right between these two patches of spatter dogs right there. You see that? That's a nice cast. That's what that is. How you doing? Hey, how's it going, man? Man, that was a real good cast, but no fish. It's been like this. Hitting everywhere around the spatter dogs. There is no secret, folks. It's just covering a lot of water and just, you know, looking for any signs, indications of fish. Very surprised that we got all these bites, chain pickerel today, and not a single large mouth bass yet. But hey, that's okay. Keep walking, keep casting. Eventually, it will come. Yeah, dude, it's like a whole opening right here. Oh uh, yeah, whole opening, man. Cast all the way back there, right next to the lilies. Mm, got a hit. Got a hit to something uh, very tiny. Kind of feel like my is swimming with my stuff, but I'm not 100% sure. Oh, it's on. I lost my senko, but it's on. What is it? Wow, it's the tiniest pickerel of the day. Hey, hey, don't take me wrong. It's another fish for today. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, I lost my Senko too. I kept feeling like tick, 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 you know? And check that out, huh? All right, give me some of the juice from your tail here. All right, wet my hands. That's my tail technique, you know? You wet your hands from the tail of the fish, right? And then look at that. Oh, dude, I mean, not bad, not bad, right? It's another fish for today, though. Not exactly... The, the huge 40 incher that we're looking for, but Senko is definitely the key for today. They're hitting on the Senko real, real good. Sooner or later, man, there's gotta be a big one that is going to show up, right? We are definitely approaching the end of what I call the spatter dock area. And what happens in this canal is you have this huge, long segment where you have the spatter docks right like this as you guys can see we just worked through a jungle of spatter docks and then you start moving to the left side and as you guys can see it suddenly disappears this canal is weird like this and um, we're gonna stop hitting the spatter docks we're gonna start moving left and instead of the spatter docks if you guys can see it right there's a lot of sunken wooden structure we're going to shift from spatter docks to casting right next to those. This wood looks so enticing. I mean, it looks so dangerous though, but. Dude! Ah, it's just a deer. Hey, what's up, deer? That, that is a deer, right? Oh, yeah, look at that. Ah, deer wanna be on YouTube, huh? Okay. Just don't mess up with my fishing and I'll let you pass. Come on, go, dude, go. You're spooking my fish. Man, can you believe that? The deer stops, looks straight at the Asian, bro. Never seen an Asian before or something, you know? Ah, uh, unbelievable. These animals. A little bit disappointed that we are not getting any hits around this, this biome. If you ever play Don't Starve Together, you know exactly what I'm talking about. We kind of left the spatter dogs and we've been casting around the wood under the trees here can't believe that we haven't had a bite over here yet needless to say if we don't get anything we're gonna start going left going towards the bridge mm. two trunks okay let's cast to the right side oh 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 oh, oh. fish on Oh yeah, boy. I was going to say, let's cast to the right side first. Ah, uh, first bass of the day, huh? Ah, little fella. 
so tiny too. All right, give me some of that tail juice right here. Tail juice, so that we can actually get you. And uh, top of the mouth, as you guys can see. I'll take a photo of it, because it's my first one of the day. Super happy I didn't get to hook it in the eye. Ooh, close call, huh, buddy? Take one photo at this angle right here, you know. All right, take two photos at that angle with the phone. Going to release it back here. Back you go, little largy. Yeah, all right, extra jump, man. As you guys can see, I am almost at the bridge area. I've been casting this entire canal, folks, and uh, I lost. I lost a few, one or two here and there, you know. But the 40 incher that the folks have been telling me is swimming here in the canal. If it is here, I haven't crossed paths with it today yet. Oh yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, I just got to the bridge area over here. Gave a few casts right around there. Nothing too juicy. Saw a few bluegill, the Lepomis macrocytus, is swimming around. And then I kind of realized the sun is going down, you know? I looked at my phone over here, 6.24 p.m. Now let me tell you all something, okay? American or not American, I still need to go back home to cook for my nephew. So yeah, I mean, we really run out of time. Anyways, the main objective of this video, I would say that we have uh, accomplished today, right? It wasn't like, ooh, you know, type of day, but two and a half pounder chain pickerel from the Delaware Canal, that is not bad at all, right? We ended up also catching a little uh, largemouth bass, right? So make that two species for today. Even the tiny ones count. You guys know on this YouTube channel, every fish counts right and you know i just wanted to let you guys know right i've been really waiting for this moment for five years and finally i am an american on paper i am going to apply for my passport in july i just scheduled my appointment today believe it or not july 21st was the closest date that they had for me to apply for the passport and after that after my passport arrives you guys know what is coming here on this channel huh that's right, international fishing trips. But this is for the future. <laughs> it's gonna take one month for me to apply to the passport, then another six to 12 weeks for the passport to come, right? Ay, ay, ay. Let's think a little bit more about the present. Today, for this video, this is it. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you guys next time. Tight lines and take it easy. Very nice. That was a very good cast. Just gotta be very careful, man. Got a lot of. Oh my goodness, dude! I knew it. I had a hit, bro. Ah! Pickerel took my Senko. I knew it. That was a good cast, man. I called it, dude. Wow. As soon as the thing hit the water, I saw the. Pickerel ate my Senko. That one's probably not hungry anymore. Ate a whole. <laughs> Uh, okay, okay, man. Okay.